Hello everyone, this is financial author Amit Don of Adon Journal. Today, I'll talk about mutual fund fees. It is an open secret that mutual fund fees can cost you quite a fortune in one lifetime, especially in Canada, where fees are even higher than other industrialized countries. Given the fact that there are other low-cost options available, like ETFs, investors often forget to ignore what they're paying in the long run. Toronto-based digital wealth management firm Nest Wealth released some cold hard figures to, pay the f to put the fees you'll be paying holding mutual funds into perspective. For example, if you take a 25-year-old investor starting with a $10,000 investment and adding $5,000, $5,800 for the next 39 years, at a rate of 6.5% return and 2.35% mutual fund fees, the investor would have a balance of $229,000, but the fees paid would be $323,654 approximately. With those kinds of fees, it is possible to buy a small house in many Canadian cities it always pays to pay attention to what you're paying for fees and what you can do about it. A study released by Environix Analytics found out that average Canadian household's liquid assets amount to $229,000. If you are paying annual 2.35% annual fees on investments, it will definitely take out a good chunk of your retirement considering many ETFs fees are below 0.50%. Nestwell offers some neat calculators and portfolio building tools on its website. You'll be able to visualize how different fees or mutual fund MERs affect your investments in dollar terms and what kind of customized portfolios are suitable for you based on your scenarios. Regardless, you are building your portfolios online or face-to-face -face with a qualified financial professional. Always do your research and make best educated decisions that suit your needs and lifestyles. That's all for today. Thank you.